what it looked like before the war. Hmm. What do you think it looked like? Well, probably upright buildings, well manicured flora, and living people. That's it? You have no imagination. Then again, I guess you've never been here before. Imagine bustling streets, crystal clean air, and people smiling everywhere you look. Have you ever seen something like that before, Adam? Yes. A long time ago. I can't believe this. This is the Alpha Nativa. You can tell by looking at its core. An alpha core? If she were... Eve. Hmm? Uh, there's something you need to know. The truth is... Hello? Can somebody rescue me? Please? A human voice? In the pod. If you're there, please help. What the? Uh, A survivor from the airborne squad. Oh. Were you the one who sent the rescue signal? Right. Let me introduce myself. I'm an engineering support of the 5th Airborne Squad. Lily Artemis the second. But you can just call me Lily. <laughs> so just to recap, you were in that hideout waiting for another squad to arrive for almost two years? And then you met us. Yes, thank you so much for saving me. I've been waiting a long time for the next squad to come in. It's been really lonely here. It's really lucky we were able to find you when we did. Eve, you're from the Airborne Squad Assault Force, right? Yeah. It's about joining forces and helping each other, just like we did before. Sound good? Yes, thanks to teamwork. I was able to get the Alpha Call. Maybe we can get more information in the city, Eve. Think about it. Yes, I suppose there's no reason to say no. However, I want to decide after hearing the story from that person you're calling Orkel. That shouldn't be a problem. Okay, I can definitely get behind that idea. Well, I guess that settles that. All right then. Let's head to Zion. Yes! It's surprising to see a city in a place like this. During its prime, over a hundred thousand people called it home. Obviously, now there are fewer. The place you see below is my safe house. The auxiliary engine's output is weak, so things can get bumpy. Hold on tight. A whole 
little city underneath the wasteland. It's amazing. Even in the darkest times, it's always safe to bet on human survival instinct. So, where do we go? No time for breaks. Typical Eve. This way. Oh, it's so dark. I really don't like the dark. This is the hyperdrive, the source of all of Zion's energy. Eve, the hypercell you brought will bring light to Zion. Here, try putting the hypercell in here. Is this some kind of graveyard? No. The people here are in a deep sleep due to energy depletion. Carrying on this way, it can only bring darkness. Eve, please help us. Thanks to the hypercell Eve acquired, they're safe. For the time being. I'm glad I was able to do something of significance. Do we need more hypercells if the citizens ever want to wake up? Yes. We need three more hypercells if we ever want to fully rebuild Zion. Let's go back to Oracle and you can hear the rest of the story. <laughs> 